this one looking promising this one looking like it's starting up how long i trying to go like all right so we're doing some inorganic chemistry here and let's just jump into it one time but well, we're going to do everything from a question based perspective so we shall be good night um we have this syllabus uh what is a metal give me a quick definition of a metal good night sir uh Celicia, alex donnie biggs nameless fees rt everybody never tried physics physics is physics i did mechanical engineering so physics is is my thing like physics is my thing chemistry not so much uh, chemistry actually you gotta go and revise chemistry and all kind of thing what is a metal give me a definition for a metal we're going to talk about this definition in terms of valence electrons so what is a metal we're going tonight with just questions let me see how much questions we can get done maybe a hundred questions what is a metal what is a metal Uh, we're gonna add a stop here. Boom. Uh, and see no answers yet. Let me that definition there for metal. Then can I get a new page out here? We want to take a new page. What is a metal? To maths people, go on my Instagram, sign up to my crash course. Um. Describe metallic bonding. Describe metallic bonding. That looks like the next logical step. So I'm going in the syllabus, according to the syllabus. You could check take out your syllabus. I explained this in the last live. What describe metallic bonding? <clears throat> Look, another thing I didn't teach me. <laughs> oh god. Alright, uh, the joke start already. The joke start already, huh? Um, let me just minimize this. Um, again, next question three. Um, uh, why state? five six i think it's six characteristics of metal characteristics of metal i don't say characteristics i say physical properties when we don't we don't know just bringing chemical yet six i put this in a different color physical so you could write these questions for yourself now and answer them it will help you a million zillion physical properties of metal of metals i've seen some answers finally starting to pop day all right a metal is a substance which consists of a cation of cations surrounded by a sea of electrons not necessarily graphite have so many mobile electrons we do other we do other definition the substance when we ask it that acid it forms salt and water um, all right the definition we're going for what is a metal atoms with a small number of valence electrons. So they know it's a valence election, right? What are we going to put the answers in blue? Atoms. I'm trying my best to write good. Let me use my pen. 
I'm a little kind of fancy pen here with well, I, I've been using my finger for the whole year um, in all my online classes with a small so you're writing this down now write this down now don't just waste the time write this down now with a small number of valence electrons so this is based on notes and half of information from this textbook um, I can't snap pictures of the textbook I just show you the cover and Tyndale textbook um, I talk with a small number of valence electrons I'm going to put E negative um, Or we put one, two, or three. That forms positive cations. Now, it have, uh, if they ask you this and they put one mark, you give this definition. If they ask you and they put three marks, you give them real thing. You gain them real thing, real identifier, so I'm at the right. Um, and they form positive cations in chemical reactions by using the valence. All right, that forms positive cations in chemical reactions. By losing... What's a valence selection? Valence selection. As the elections on the outside are easy to pop out, right? As the elections in the unfilled outer shell. Right? Alright. And somebody getting in trouble. Well, it's be quarreling with my let's get to see these people they're quarreling it. Nice. So that is the definition we take in for that. So this is the bare definition we take in for that. These are some key things we can highlight here. Atoms with a small number of valence electrons. That is what we use in the valence electrons. Um, form positive cations in chemical reactions by losing the valence electrons. Right? Next question. Describe metallic bonding. What is metallic bonding? Electrons in the automatic shell. What is metallic bonding? Somebody probably say it up here. Yeah, and the yeah, handwriting right, improved. Alright, um, uh, describe metallic bonding. We're gonna say cation surrounded by a sea of electrons. Alright, so we we'll say metallic. Oh, the ball is stopping all of these before the answer. So when we come back, we will just be revising everything. Oh, this is a study with me session. And this is not like a concise teaching session. Um, point after point after point. This is like to help you read. This is like if you I was revising with my little brother or something. Um, yeah, metallic. What is it? Metal. Cations surrounded by a C. I'm going to use the words they use here surrounded by a C of the localized, localized, can I spell like that? Z or S? The localized. Mobile elections. So metal cation surrounded by a sea of localized mobile elections. Where 
This is the connector we're using. Sometimes it's important to remember your connector. Where? So metal cations surrounded by a sea of the localized mobile electrons where the lattice is held together. Right. Where the lattice is held together by the strong electrostatic force. And lattice is held together. by strong electrostatic is a key word here electrostatic forces between the cation and the electrons All right, memorize that. Start memorizing that. Unless you have something that you memorize already, do not cancel it. You have memorized already, unless you're missing some keywords and thing. All right. So we have a whole crew inside here. All right, so metal cations surrounded by a sea of delocalized mobile reactions where the lattice um, is held together by strong electrostatic forces between the cations and anions. When you get this one, cut and then election, sorry. Um, you now, as we learn this, if, as I learn this, I'll just swing back and make sure I have a definition for ionic and the next dude, covalent bonds, one time, right? Um, who is this Ellis person? Who is this crew? This have to be <laughs> this have to be a group or something with a WhatsApp. Um a group or something with a WhatsApp. And uh, as soon as I come online, they say, all right, so online, so online, Russian, Russian. So when I think you had to start banning me, nah, nah, they didn't really do anything to get banned yet. Alright, so um we have two, we have two down. What's what what work? What persistence? State six physical properties of metal. Well, we did this last time. So we want to talk about high, and uh, we'll ask a question for the reason for this. High melting point and boiling point. And because of that, the solid at room temperature, except mercury, What's the other ones that they give? And then we're talking about conductors, good conductors of good conductors of, and this is just me remembering from yesterday. <coughs> Cohen, look, Ellis. All right, let me see. Aliana seen Ellis, and I don't know if I banned Ellis from a chat or some kind of thing, and Aliana in the chat. Alright, um, good conductors of electricity and heat. Oh, by the way, y'all, don't forget to press like on the video. The Ellis Squad, press like on the video. Everybody else, press like on the video. Um, you can take your screenshot now, post every now and then. I'll go on Instagram, re, let's call it, re share, share everybody who posts. Once you tag my name in it, good conductors of electricity. And he, the reason we're doing that is so that as many people as possible could get any light. Good conductors of electricity and heat. What else, boy? Um, luster. Shiny. Shiny. Uh, malleable and ductile. Mm. <laughs> Malleable and Doctor. I don't know who this Ellis squad is. What school is this? Is this QRC? Uh, Malleable and Doctor. 
and the last one is high density, right? All right, so because of how we are brain work, let me just take a quick peek back at everything we just do. That's just three things, eh? I want to try and get a lot done tonight. Hmm, who knows, man? Like, go next time we end up fire record. What is a metal? Metal. Atoms with a small number of valence. All right. With all the answer. Small number of valence electrons. Make sure you could do the answers to small number of valence electrons. I'll be asking you all to give me just now. Um, small number of valence electrons, like one, two, or three. Uh, form cations. And they lose in chemical reactions by losing the valence electrons. Nice, nice. I should say positive cations, which is kind of redundant. Um, describe metallic bonding. Um, <laughs> we're going five rivers. Mm, five rivers, QLC. Um, CUC, all right, we can get it at a secondary high school. We can get a location on the other school. Describe metallic bonding. Cation surrounded by a sea of mobile electrons. Delocalized mobile electrons. We got them two words in the definition to look good. <coughs> Delocalized mobile electrons. Um, and the, the, the metallic bonding itself is a strong electrostatic force between the cations and the mobile elections. Boom. We could use this word in the definition. I left out this word, lattice. Where the lattice, so I'll say where the lattice, right? Where the lattice is held together. All right. And lastly, six physical properties of metals. Well, we have this one called long time, right? So high melting point, solid at room temperature. Um, good conductors of electricity and heat, luster, shiny, malleable, and ductile. So the next question is the reason why. So why for the properties? We need to be able to give a reason why for the properties. Why for the, so why, right? And this why answering for the properties. So why does it have a high melting point? Why does it have a high boiling point? Why does it have all these things? Let me just copy off this. Copy. Paste. I don't know how much we will be able to do on one page. Um, maybe we might be able to do three. So cut. Why does it have a high melting point and boiling point? Answer that question. Why does it have a high melting point and boiling point? Why is it a solid at room temperature? Well, that, that kind of going with the same thing. Why is it a good conductor of heat? All of these things explain it because of the metallic bonding. <clears throat> um... Harrell, you're yeah, one step away from um, the detention. Everybody, I don't want to detent, um, get sent in detention. All right, so why is why do we have a high melting point and boiling point? Why do we have a high mel melting point and boiling point? Why do we have a high melting point and boiling point, people? High melting point and boiling point. Why do we have a high melting point and boiling point? Harrell, is Harrell? Give me the answer there. Harrell, Harrell. Harrell, stop quarreling with the other people. Why do we have a high melting point and boiling point for metals? Because of the strong electrostatic forces of attraction, right? So that's the answer there. Good on. Hi. 
electrostatic. Who gave the answer? Well then, um, Nina, Nina, I electrostatic. Not due to Van der forces, I can tell you that. Uh, to bring you right, so we're going in that because of the strong high electrostatic forces of attraction. Between the cations and the all right, so why is why is it solid at room temperature? Same, 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 same as above, right? There's a high electrostatic force of attraction between the cations and the mobile electrons. So, and they held together strongly, so they're not they're not going to be loose like um liquid or they're not going to be flying around the place like gas. Right? So good conductors of electricity and heat. Why is that? What's the reason for that? Um, so I'm just gonna put in my things here. Boom. Good conductors of electricity and heat. Why? Oh gosh, don't gas me up too now. I really ain't giving an answer, I'm just talking. Um, so when it is physics or geo? Well, tomorrow I might come through some physics, but we see. Why is in the chat? Press Y in the chat if you're ready for some physics tomorrow. What subject do you feel I should do tomorrow? Say, man, see. All right, all right. All right, you're going to get a five minute timeout. Let's do this. Put user in timeout. Take a time on the high. <clears throat> Good conductors of heat and electricity due to the mobile electrons, which allows charges to be transferred and transfers to move energy to the cations. When they bombard them, it increase kinetic energy. Well done, RT. That's it there. So the, the, the reason is the mobile electrons. Mobile electrons. Physics for sure? All right. Mobile electrons. So because of the mobile electrons now, because we have plenty mobile electrons. They move around, they, the mobile electrons allow for the movement of charge. For movement of charge. Of charge. Right? Um, Uh, you can see uh, allow for the movement of charge. Um, you can see act as charge carriers. I like that. Act as charge carriers. So I want to move it inside. When we're talking about it, we're going to put that. This song in sweet, right? Charge carriers. Carriers. Uh, carriers. Carriers. Wow. I see Chimats in English. Charge carriers. Allow for the movement of charge, so charge carriers, and they can act as heat carriers too. So um, you move, you're carrying that kinetic energy, yes, you're carrying that energy. Uh, what is the definition that Archie gave? I like that, I like that. Oh, so Harrell was Ellis? Free Harrell. Harrell, what is his name? Harrell or Harrell? Um, I show you again and come back and again and do things to get attention again because how um, transfer thermal energy to the cations when they bombard them to increase kinetic energy. Yeah, hello. Um, so uh, as heat carriers now, the same mobile electrons. Transfers um, heat energy throughout the metal. Um, 
or a better definition by the way. I want to use the word kinetic energy too. Hmm. You see, one will heat up, one electron will heat up, one electron gains kinetic energy, and it just passing along, passing along the chain, right? So, how are you going to say that way? <clears throat> All right, we know what we mean, right? Transfers heat energy to the metal. Kinetic energy from one electron to another. All right. Um, so you're really aggressive tonight, but you're all fine aggressive. I'm trying to get in that camera first, but in a few ting ting ting, bap bap bap. Right. Yeah. So that is the, that. What's the next question, boy? Why is it malleable and ductile? Or we want to get <coughs> the wires for the rest of them. <coughs> so we have. Why is it shiny? You all know why it's shiny? So how we see things as, as the dealer photons and things. So why is why are metal shiny? Anybody have the answer to that? <coughs> why are metal shiny? Why are metals malleable and ductile? Yeah, RT, I like that definition. The ions are packed close together in their lattice and electrons drift 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 through the metal and the metal carry carries kinetic energy around the but the electrons carry kinetic energy around the lattice. Yeah. <clears throat> the polish. The electrons reflect the photons, yes. Electrons reflect the photons. So the electrons, everything just pointing back to the electrons reflect the photons. Before they could like penetrate and, and become. What is that? Oh, I want to watch it on screen. So before the light could penetrate and you can you know, um, not come back to our eyes, so, so it will look black, so it will look dark, opaque, dull, it reflects. So we get a kind of shiny look. And as electrons doing that. Oh gosh, I really am back. The man can say drift. Yes. <laughs> welcome back, Ellis. Uh, Ali, welcome back, Ellis. Now we give him more. We give him two chances. Two chances, Ellis. Look how our boy come. Back. We gave him two chances. Why are they, Why is it malleable and ductile? Why is it malleable and ductile? So keep in mind. <clears throat> they are hard so they are hard yes they are hard due to the strong electrostatic force the, the, the strong crystal lattice that it forms <clears throat> Zin Riley I know Riley that's just that's just wrong, right? Yeah. Um, they are hard, but why are they malleable and ductile? <clears throat> right, so cations can slip over each other. So you can slip over each other. You can slip over each other. Certain things we get instant um, and you keep it very busy tonight, but certain things we get instant banner. And sometimes YouTube will even allow you to post it. Bonds can be easily broken and form our um, <clears throat> They can be the cations can slip over each other. So although there are strong electrostatic bonds between 
the cations and the CRB electrons, the cations can still slip over each other, right? But it can break the bonds. So, all right. Cations. Slip over each other. So they can be, they can be pulled out into wires, they can be bent, they can be, um, go through metallic processes. Formed. This is, yeah. Cations can slip away each other without. <clears throat> so the bonds, not really directional and that it has to stay this way, it has to stay that way, with that way it join up from four different sections you understand? so if it break, it break along a it break like that, brittle uh -uh. it will bend and slip over each other without losing the bond it just they, they can roll around to change positions without breaking their bonds, yes, yes, yes without breaking the bond, the metallic bond and lastly, why do they have high densities? Why do metals have high densities? Why do metals have high densities? So do some theory. I don't do um, business subjects or languages. Why do metals have high densities? <clears throat> so this was up to here. So we're coming back to attack these questions. The next question we're gonna ask is list the list the reactivity series for metals. For metals. What question was this, Ali? Four, five. So the reactivity series, so, excuse me, the reactivity series, so, <laughs> so uh, let's start here again. Yeah, well, boy. Take care, you get started in a young king. <clears throat> <clears throat> He's only doing the real subjects. Ooh. Show that for the business people. Smith used that. All you know, this had to be a group. This had to be some kind of game. This group or some kind of thing from some school. Um, reactivity series for metals. So we are the reactivity series. A little fight among each other, please. Reactivity series for metals. This this LS crew, real miserable boy. Oh gosh. Katrin never can make a zebra fight nine snakes. Poisonous have caught her poor age aunt. My gosh. Nah, I never hear that one. I hear please stop calling me a zebra. Right? And please stop calling me a zebra. Um, what's the next thing? I like something similar to me. <laughs> so we going in this order potassium um, well as I say let me do the um, the words thing now please it is please stop calling me a zebra. Please stop calling me a zebra. So that stands for what if the cancels keep on CXE? I doubt. 
Uh, <laughs> Harold is staying. All your stuff, Harold, stop fighting with the people in the chat, please. And I say, Bridget, why are you fighting with your Bridget for? And put on it from the same place. What's the reason for the high density? The reason for the high density is closely packed together. I thought, I thought people mentioned that. Closely packed. Together. So, um, high. So you have a high mass to a volume ratio. Because as the strong electrostatic bonds, the cations are close to each other, closely held together by the, the electrons. So you have a high mass to volume ratio. <laughs> so I discussed the teacher last time when that happened in a lab. Alice, you're getting trouble out of YouTube too. I thought you just a YouTube back then. All right. And let's again and next time what do you think? So whatever method you have for memorizing the, the, the series is cool. So please stop calling me. So this is like potassium, sodium series, yes answer thing just so sodium. Calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc. What's the next part? Um, I had this somewhere, but please don't forget me. I just remember that part. And I remember the last week, Selena Gomez. <laughs> Why can't we call me Miss Selena Gomez? Why it is, boy? <clears throat> well, for, for CXE, the next one you have to know is aluminum, zinc, iron, copper. Aluminum, zinc, iron, copper. Zinc, so I just go in and this all this. Iron, copper. Copper is CU. Um, silver. And gold come after silver, right? So for CX, it's just these other three and it's telling, right? Copper, C O P P E R. What was the reason for high density? We're coming back to it. We're coming back to everything. And we'll just keep reviewing. The reason for high densities is closely packed together, high mass to volume ratio. Then the reason they're closely packed together is because of the high electrostatic um, forces of attraction, right? But I think you could just look at that. <laughs> Instead, learn how copper seed wool. And I hear that one already. Please stop calling me a, uh, a zebra. Instead, learn how copper save wool. So, iron, lead, hydrogen. Yeah, that's important. You need to have the hydrogen in the dance. Iron. So I've been entering the lead here. Lead. Um, I'm going to train the hydrogen, which is not, which is not, which is not a um a metal. But we have to know where hydrogen fits in the series. This is important. And uh, let's put in the goal. Who said that? He said, you know, copper, see, go, whoever said that? Well, I'm missing this goal. So that's what we are used. That's why we, the Caribbean decide upon, right? You have a consensus there. It is then, so forget seeing any in Gomez. Instead, learn how copper save go. How copper saved go. So that's the reactivity series. This is important for the next set of things that we're going to read. So that hydrogen will confuse people. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'll put it in a box then, right? So 
the hydrogen is important in the series to know where which um what could displace hydrogen then from the dilute acids <clears throat> so please stop calling me a zebra instead learn how copper save gold we can live with that potassium sodium calcium magnesium aluminum zinc iron lead hydrogen copper silver gold this is an icx list right here. all right next question reaction with oxygen so reaction with oxygen so in the reaction with oxygen we had two things from last night let me see how much of this you remember reaction with oxygen we had <coughs> dry a and heated in a so just like if it's in the air just so dry and if it's heated in a right so dry air I, I, I keep i don't remember the focus i'm going to dry air heated in a, in oxygen heated in a so good night everybody don't forget to press like on the video don't forget to press like on the video post on your status if you could heated in a um and well the equation we need to know the equation but we'll, we'll come around to that so dry air heated in air so now we're using this series to form like a little table yeah i don't know how much we could get done in this space dry air heated in air so please stop calling me so potassium Stop sodium calcium magnesium. These are the big bosses, them. These are the gunters. <clears throat> so in dry air, what happens? Alright, so when in dry air, we're gonna use the word react. React, react, react. When it is heated in air, we're going to use the word burns, 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 burns. And we're going to describe how it burns. Um, so on how it reacts. So potassium, sodium readily. Readily, readily, readily. It forms the oxide when heated. Yes, that's correct. Readily. All of these form the oxide, right? Form the oxide when heated. So potassium oxide, sodium oxide. Readily. So it's a react readily to form the oxide, right? This arrow is to form oxide. Right, reacts readily. This one is readily, readily, readily. <clears throat> um, we still use the new word readily, readily here, but we're not showing to form a coating of the oxide. So we're using that double arrow there. Uh, earlier, this is just how I would do this if I had this piece here eh? to form coating of oxide. Let us know how to do it. Right, yeah, of course. Nicholas, take it down, boy. All right, let's see what Nicholas do. I ain't seen no Nicholas. I don't understand. Right, so it reacts readily to form the oxide. Reacts readily to form the oxide. Reacts readily to form a coating of the metal oxide. All right, so the, this will form a coating of calcium oxide, a coating of magnesium oxide. Um. They train aluminium one time too now. Aluminium. So this also reacts. But we're not going to say readily. We're going to say 
you're going to take it down a little bit slowly and to form a coating of the oxide, right? Right, so these were the, the potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminum burns vigorously. Burns, burns. This one burns, burns. First two is vigor vigorously. 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 So this is something you can plug back in and sleep to when you come into the exam and um, infiltrate your system. And these two are very easily and easily. Um, and from aluminium, you're starting to reach, we need this powder form. But we want to get some colors for the top four colors, right? So what are the colors? What are the colors? That one is lilac. Next one is orange. One is white. Who is the white boy? How are you going to shade white boy? You can just put this kind of grayish looking into it. Magnesium is white, right? Yeah. And then the calcium is the brick red, right? So this one is lilac, orange flame. This one is brick red. And this one is white. All right, we have something new. So, and it's using Shakim account. <laughs> Who is these men? <laughs> oh yeah, I do like to suspend people in his business. I kind of like the person to suspend, but no, no. All right, I ain't really seen anybody. I'll just talk to one stand up first. But I ain't really seen reason to suspend people. Cool, and if you only remove me, oh gosh, oh gosh, take a time out for that. <laughs> take a time out for that. Um, take a time out, brother. A whole lot going on here, still in the stream. Right. Sushanka. All right. Whoever. <clears throat> All right, Dale, take a little screenshot. Take a little screenshot. Post the one and see if anybody posts. Double up on that. We're going to check back and see all that we learned so far. We're going down long enough. Who could take, who could go till midnight, boy? Why isn't he chatting for the up for the midnight? For the up for midnight drive. Right? So when you're watching the video, um, after the live, you'll want to double tap, skip all the parts that you don't need. Midnight going now. Uh, so my mother got beat. <laughs> I we might pull that midnight off. So this one is Burns. Uh we need a special color for this for this for this what we will not see here. When heated in powdered form. Alright. So we have that. Oh, I deal with all these people in easy. So dry air, heated in air. React ready, react ready, react ready. First to react ready to form oxide. Rest of them react ready to form a coating of the oxide. Um, zinc, we have space for zinc, boy. Zinc, you have space to go in there. You only have space for zinc. Next page fade, next page fade. 
But first, let me put the stop here and let me take a little zoom back and see what we have done. Boom. What is our metal? Answer the question, there, people. What is our metal? What is our metal? Type all the answer. When I, once I see the answer, um, I'll go down to the next one. Next question after that is describe metallic bonding. So go ahead and put the answer for describe metallic bonding one time. Next question after that is state six physical properties of metal. So what is a metal? Describe metallic bonding. State six physical properties of the metal. Just search Cohen's spring and bearing, bearings, Cohen's spring and vectors, and again true. Why for the properties? At a much small number of valence electrons in chemical reactions, in the, the, yeah, the pain in that part. The part about chemical reactions. A right? small number of valence electrons form cations in chemical reactions by giving away the valence electrons, right? Form positive cations or shock. I forget to say the word positive cations again. Um, in chemical reactions by using the valence electrons. Cool, cool. Um, I, I see about the vectors in matter. You can search Cohen's spring of vectors for now. Describe metallic bonding. Uh, metal cations surrounded by a sea of right, right, right. Of delocalized. You want to use the two words, eh? Delocalized mobile electrons. Where the lattice is held together by, oh, I'm going to see that part. I didn't really get to test myself there. Where the lattice is held together by strong electrostatic bonds, um, forces of attraction between the cations and electrons. So the maths live and thing coming closer to the exams. If you want to get maths live all well, now, I have a mathematics class on Tuesday. Those are the private streams. I have a crash course. That's the next private stream. You can sign up for those things, right? Um, state six physical properties of metals. Um, six physical properties of metals. We want six physical properties. Good night, Aditi. Six physical properties of metals. So we had a high melting point, high boiling point. Room temperature, solid, except mercury. Um, conductors, heat, electricity, shiny, malleable, ductile. Line of the right? High density, shocks, I forget the high density. Then you want the reason why. Why does it have a high melting point, high boiling point? As I say, it, I kind of go into it faster, but I hope you're answering it for yourself as well. Why does it have a high melting point and boiling point? Why? Because of the strong electrostatic forces between the cations and the yes. Um, why is it solid at room temperature? Same reason. Um, why is that good conductor of electricity and heat? This is due to the mobile electrons, presence of the mobile electrons acting as well as the fancy word we had charge carriers, charge carriers as a nice word to use. So acting as charge carriers. Um, so you could create an electri electrical current, movement of charge, right? Same thing, act as heat carriers via the kinetic theory, kinetic energy, hit the electron and it's faster for the electron to do the vibrating and pass along than for the cations, right? So um, when one part of a metal is heated, it conducts the heat really fast down the entire metal because the um, electrons, the, the, mobile, the electrons are mobile. And they can vibrate and transfer the kinetic energy down the line faster. Right. Um, and why is it shiny? It's shiny because the electrons reflect the photons. Right? The electrons reflect the light photons that come in. So it doesn't allow, it doesn't get to penetrate the metal deeply. So you're not going to see a dull or opaque kind of color. Um, you're going to get a shiny color from reflect the reflection of the light. Especially if the metal is you know, flat and shiny, shined, um, polished, polished. So we have a flat surface. Let me let you just going to stand up there and say you're not allowed inside, my boy. All right. Why is it malleable and ductile? Because 
due to the metallic bonds, which are very strong, which makes it hard. So the resistance, the resisting, um, resistant to breaking, but um, or forces at acting on them. But it could, it could bend, it could bend, slip, roll over each other without breaking the metallic bond, right? The, but the metallic bond allows for that. And why does it have a high density? Because of the large mass to volume ratio. Tightly packed. Cool. Then that's that. Reactivity series. Please stop calling me a zebra. Oi. We need to stop about here so. So please stop calling me a zebra. I the next thing, Mike. Instead, instead, that's the word you go come in. Instead, learn how copper saves gold. How copper saves gold. Saved gold or whatever. So potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminum, zinc, iron, lead, hydrogen. That's just where hydrogen fits in the table. Copper, silver, gold. Nice. Reaction with oxygen. Reaction with oxygen. Potassium. How does potassium react with, with oxygen with, in terms of dry air or when it's heated in it? Sodium. Dry air, heated in it. Calcium. Dry air, heated in it. Magnesium. Dry air, heated in it. And I think I train aluminum in the end. Well, these three react readily. Well, these two. But they'll form a coating. Right? Will form a coating. Yeah, the numbers drop. The number drop as I don't know how much we'll have on if we go up to 12, but if the number get like below 20 and thing, we'll call that George. Um potassium re reacts vigorously. So reacts readily, sorry. Uh, to form the oxide. Sodium reacts readily to form the oxide. Calcium react readily to form the coating. As I said, magnesium react readily to form the coating. Aluminium reacts slowly. To form the coating in dry air. Iron doesn't react in dry air. Right? So that's the that is like the cutoff point. So let me just page in iron, aluminium. Oh zinc, zinc. I need zinc first. Zinc reacts slowly. Aluminium, zinc. So zinc is the same thing here, but let me squeeze in zinc now. Zinc is the same as aluminium. For all intents and purposes with this. So you know what? I'm gonna put zinc and aluminium on the same thing. Right? So that's stored in the same little spot. That's stored in the same little, same little spot there, right? We using up no extra brain cells for that. Alright, so potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium. Potassium and sodium like stores in the same spot as well, except we got one is lilac, one is orange flame when you heat it in it. Um, don't forget calcium is brick red, magnesium is white, right? So vigorously, vigorously, very easily, easily, reacts readily in air, but these form a coating of the oxide, the calcium, magnesium, and aluminum. Form. All right, so I think you all understand. Why is in the chat if we get this? Why is in the chat if we have this dog ready for the next half of the table? Then we're ready to go with the... Um, they get cold inside yeah. Then we're ready to go with the reaction with water. Did I say yellow? I is is orange. Orange, yellow, yeah. When I feel for yellow, if you get correct. Orange. All right, so you ready for the next section? I'm listening. Oh, how Siri will be hearing herself? Okay, wait, I'll change that hello Siri to something else. Um, next section. So what we stop off on? Zinc, we have put zinc in the same color, man. So, um, dry, heated in a, copy that. 
So if we stop off on zinc, we're ready to go to iron. And iron not reacting with dry air. Right? Must have some moisture for us to take place. Look at a drain in the ruler. Okay, I'm gonna take back up the pen, try and get the hand right in and again. So nah. Alright, no reaction in dry air. So then all the rest gonna be nah, right? Iron, copper, silver, gold. All the rest gonna be nah. So heated in air, yeah, you can get something, but it must be in the powdered form. So this is the same as the aluminum zinc. Aluminium, zinc, iron. I guess lead too would be in the same dance, but we, we not on that. And from here, we want nah. Nah. Now, if you if you really powder it up and heat it, um, If you heat it strongly, heat it strongly, yeah, you can get a little oxide. A little oxide coating. Nice for copper, right? A little oxide coating. All right, so who feel them memorize this whole table already? <sighs> now, keep in mind, you'll have to be able to do the equations, right? So you have to do the equations. So like, like, let me say, if you had the potassium equation, and I think I did this last night, um, I'm going to put the balance one at a time. So I'll put the K plus O. And it gives the metal oxide, all of them, metal oxide, right? So this is two. This is one. Negative, right? So the two going to come there. And then you're looking to balance the solar. This was two already. This was a gas. This is a solid. And this is a solid. So if we have two of this, I need two of it here. Uh, but I don't have two oxygen. So now I need to start with the oxygen now. So I need to start from two here. And if I have two of this, that's four oxygen. So I could put a four there. Now I've, sorry, this is madness. Now I could put a two here because what, what am I doing? This is two oxygen. So I need two here, two oxygen. So I need two oxygen, right? Yeah, now that making sense. So two, my, right. So now we get any four here as well, great. But I had to start with the oxygen because, yeah, the oxygen was the, the, the limiting factor if you want. Yeah, so um, I had two oxygen to start with, so I need to get this to two. And as I got that to two, I end up making the potassium four, so I need to go four here to get balance. Yeah. So that is that. I tell you, all for the top, you all press like on the video. Maybe you have some people on right now who want to take in some chemistry. When the numbers reach under 20, we done, we rack up for the night. We rack up for the night. Now we have the real. Um, by the way, last year we did lives all the way up to 4 o'clock and all kind of thing. So, and anyhow, we'll see how things will go. But that's closer to the exam and people more desperate. Right, so this is the example with like potassium, which is in group one. So like if you have an example with calcium, which is in group two, well, you know, CaO, that good gesso, that good gesso. This is gas plus. So if I have a solid here, so all I need to do now is put two here because the same oxygen ramble in the scene that way. And if I put a 2 there, I just need a 2 there. This is looking like copper, calcium. Um, blessings, blessings. Alright, so that is the Gabby. Right, so as soon as I, the likes pop up, the views increase. Um, what next? Water. So reaction in water. So reaction in water. Um, you need to know that the first four. So you're going back with our first four. Um, I will always form the metal hydroxide once you're reacting in the water. If it reacts in with steam, so I write a separate. So how? Wait, we had to do this in terms of questions. Reaction in oxygen. 
as number five, um, reactivity series, reaction in oxygen, this was number six. And reaction in water, this is number seven. So reaction in water is going to form, the only thing I really need to remember from this is the metal hydroxide and oxygen and hydrogen. Metal hydroxide and hydrogen. Now if it reaction reaction with steam, it's going to form the metal, because it's steam now, metal oxide and hydrogen. Right, so now we need to get this. Oh gosh, the handwriting falling off. We need to get this in terms of the whole reactivity series. Um, please stop calling me a zebra. Instead, learn how copper saves gold. Right, it down, it down. Um, oh yeah, so we need to get this with the two by. The potassium, sodium, calcium. Um, so all the way to potassium, why well, am I writing P? I write K. Potassium, sodium, calcium. All, the, all of these, we'll deal with just cold water, right? And with cold water, potassium and sodium is vigorously. Vigorously and vigorously and this one is moderately now we're still going to get the flames taking place here let me bring back all these flames now um lilac and orange copy piece back them for the flames boom so you'll see that flame you'll see that flame so could you repeat? Repeat what? What time are you going? I'll, all of this going, I can repeat every now and then. What time are going live from tomorrow? I don't know, but we'll go live. Tomorrow, I mean, uh, tomorrow I may go live during the day. If I go live during the day. Or I might just upload a video. All right, so tomorrow I may not be live. I have a private live stream to do with my pure maths class. Have to do that stream. So I may just upload a video for SEA students. Tuesday, I have a private stream for math students, but I may go live during the day. It, it all depends. It all depends on how things roll. And Wednesday, we back at it again, for sure. So, vigorously Lila, vigorously Orange, moderately. Somebody already said the answer for these. Um, we already described the reaction, so it's just a balanced reactions now. Once it's water, is metal hydroxide and hydrogen. Once it's steam, is metal oxide and hydrogen. All right. So, calcium... Magnesium, aluminum, zinc, lead. Um, we could think of these separately. Should we? Oh, no, magnesium is up with these four. So, magnesium, we'll, we'll have the cold water reaction and we'll have the steam reaction. So, cold water is slowly, but steam is vigorously. Back to vigorously again. You understand what happened in here? So, with Manx, could anyone share the mnemonic says using that is um please stop calling me a zebra instead learn how copper saves gold that is the what we use to memorize the reactivity series in metals potassium sodium calcium magnesium aluminum zinc iron lead hydrogen there's fits in there copper silver gold so yeah, we have this down. We have this down. Why is in the chat if you have if you have everything so far? If you have any questions, let me know. And from who doesn't react by from copper. So all the rest, the in between guys, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, aluminium, zinc, iron. These react with steam. Steam only, right? And then copper, copper down is nah. Because copper not going to get rid of the, copper is not going to get rid of the hydrogen because remember where hydrogen fits in the table. 
right? Um, so that's that. That's it. That's it for water. So you just need to, to practice a couple equations to make sure we can balance the equations. Good. To make sure we can balance the equations. Good. And that's it. So let's get. Let's see if we can get an equation. And let's get an equation with. Let's do the potassium. Let's do the so sodium this time. Sodium. So it's the sodium plus the water, cold water. Um. I'm just gonna uh burn vigorously reacts vigorously right um sodium solid water liquid and it forms the hydroxide so sodium hydroxide and 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 hydrogen from lead Yeah, but I wasn't including lead. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. So sodium plus um cold water um uh, sodium. So let me just balance this oxygen. Everything looking good. Oh, I see a hydrogen here. So you have two, but you have so uh, obviously we need to get this into an even number territory. So I'm gonna put two here because this needs to be an even number now. Because uh, this is one plus two is three, but you're only getting even numbers from this side. So now that this is four, I could try a two here and see what happens. So two O's, two O's, right, right. Are they get that? Are they catch that? So yeah, memorize the equation, memorize the colors, memorize how it reacts. So if they, what they'll do is my, they might say like this person reacted this metal and you see this happened and you see an orange flame. All right, you know that is sodium. Or this person did this and it reacted vigorously. This metal X reacted vigorously. Um, and when he tested, he get to form an alkaline, alkaline um, solution. And um, yeah, you understand. You need to be able to go back in the table now and see which one best fits. All right. So we'll try to see if we can get some past papers done. When you ask me to repeat, I I don't know what to do. So you need to say specifically where's the problem. In all my lives, get accustomed to that. Right. Even in my classes in school, I tell students, do not ever tell me you don't understand, or don't tell me to repeat where you just do. No, no, no. Ask me a question, a specific question. 2NA, yes, sorry, I left out the 2NA here. My my bad, my bad. Put that 2 by the NA, right? 2NA, so repeat 2NA as well, yes. Because we throw a 2 here and you mess up the NA. Thank you, so that's good. Um, Let's try one with, let me just try the next one. So, what you're gonna do is, if I was you, I would write with all the equations. Um, or, at least, like uh, so the amount put us in to write on that both of them both of them is the same um right on that group two one now let's try calcium and water and and remember this one he in into the vigorous business but he will react with the cold water but not vigorously let's check my table yeah moderately moderately slowly is magnesium aluminium nah you know steam you gotta bring the steam room. Alright. Um learn the cutoff points, you understand what I mean? Learn where it, learn where it cuts off. So like aluminium is we out of our cold water business. Right? So that's the cutoff point there. And then you're learning lead as a cutoff point for the all the reactions. Yeah. Um calcium and water giving you the hydroxide, calcium hydroxide. Now the problem with hydroxide is hydroxide is one. So you need two to satisfy that calcium label. Right. And that. Hmm. So let me try to train on a two here. And see what happened. The reason I put on a two here is because I have two oxygen. No. So again back with two oxygen, I get in four of this. One, two. 
three, four. Everything looking good with just one, two there, right? Everything looking good with just one, two. So do you know Spanish? I don't teach languages or business subjects. Everything else. Nearly everything else. Um, solid. Liquid. Why is any chat if I good with this? Aqueous. Use an aqueous, right? Yeah, aqueous. There's an A and a Q on it. Just my thing sticking. Aqueous. Gas. Gas. It balance. So, um, why is in the chat if I go to this? Are they ready to move on? Next. If I'm ready for the next topic. Say next topic. Um, so, the, the tables. The oxygen table. And I, I, I would actually put this in my mind. The oxygen table seems like the hardest. So, it's really, it's really a few things we learn here. Um, metals. <clears throat> you learn the physical. Then, you learn the chemical properties. Don't forget when you learn the physical, we learn the whys. Eh? Must learn the whys. And when we learn the chemical properties, it's oxygen. It's how it reacts with water or steam. And the last one is like HCl or H2SO4. But you want dilute. Eh? We just talk more dilute. So now is that and that will be a so we just need to do this last one and we're done. Um but there's something else with metals. We need to go into like the compounds. We need to do it, you need to know some extractions and stuff like that. And we go in, we as uh, as I said, I had the I had the energy to do it, so we'll go. If I up for it, we go in. Um once it have more than 20 people here, we go in through. So that you all will be able to come back and watch the video as well. So the HCL is, is simple. I probably don't really need to do this table. Most of you all should understand this. So you probably just need to know, um, because like this is one of the first things is teaching, right? Uh, metal and metal and dilute acid, metal and acid, right? Salt and hydrogen. So we want to label everything because eh? 'cause they're coming back. Coming back to it. So this is like what you'd ideally do right now. This is just our web of how things go. Based on the syllabus now. We looked at this last night. Um so yeah, this reaction with water and reaction with I just organizing up the notes here. This was reaction with oxygen. This was reaction with water. Let me put that seven big number. Uh, um, this was reaction with oxygen. And the next one you're gonna do is reaction with reaction with um dilute acid. So six, the dilute acid. So HCl. Only with me there, HCl aqueous. Yeah, so Google the syllabus, make sure it's the latest syllabus you get. Um, I think it was updated in 2013. All the latest syllabus have a kind of like black thing, Max. So I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, it online it on Google. So just Google the syllabus and check it through. So with HCl, um, how are we going to do this HCl by? Um, you just need to know who vigorous, who violent, violent, violent. All right, we're going to do the whole table. Let me do the whole table. Potassium. I'm just going to draw a line. Potassium. Um, potassium is an extremely violent. Potassium. Are you putting potassium and sodium together? Yes, what happened? Potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, copper, silver. So I put in those that get tested, and that's why you see my leaving on the letter. All right, um, 
sodium potassium sodium potassium sodium potassium so very violent you have to use the word violent violent is beyond vigorous very violent um the very is really for here violent is for the sodium violent is for we use fairly violent as well for him then we use very vigorous so we come down back into vigorous these adjectives boy these adjectives i spell in this vigorous wrong vigorous um fairly vigorous I just say vigorous right so this is easy to this is easy fairly vigorous why i keep doing that vigorous iron iron and it's yeah well you know from from here nothing nah 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 no reaction doesn't react with dilate acid and the reason is it can't get rid of the hydrogen remember hydrogen coming in here right um is that telling me how copper is go how how copper is go h is the hydrogen so it can't get rid of the hydrogen from the acid so it can't displace the hydrogen so iron is slow slow reaction slow reaction taking place here all right and that's it all you need to know is the practice a few reactions now to make sure you can balance it um let's just put it in this yeah practice a few reactions so that we can balance this soul yeah Ugh, let's just do another reaction here like sodium plus HCl you want salt and hydrogen so NaCl plus hydrogen this H2 is what we don't cause the trouble here now way so you see you need two here so there's a one there so you need to drop a two on this um then I get in a two here because I changed the, that to two then I need a two there all are looking right yeah that's about it there i hope you get in mass life tomorrow tuesday as i said tomorrow and tuesday are my private classes pure maths and maths you can always join those classes there are people still joining the classes but um what you could do is Mm, join the crash course because like if you join the classes now you'll have to pay a whole um right it's five hundred dollars registration fee because you'll be getting all the classes because these classes are in June. State symbols, please. Yes, no problem, no problem, Aaron. <laughs> Solid liquid aqueous, aqueous, aqueous gas. Nice. All right, so that is that. So what we could go into now, we could probably take a little recap. Then we could go into the next thing. What's the next thing again, boy? Metal compounds, reaction of metal oxide, metal hydroxides. And this is what came in the past people the other day. Metal hydroxides, metal oxides. Well, let me ask a few more questions now. Um, what number is this? I think this is number nine. Oh, I'll put six here, right? That's really number six. I feel like I feel like that a little bit of questions. Okay, if it's six, let me just check. Five, six, yeah. Seven. How so our metal our metals reducing or oxidizing agents? Answer that question for me there and the reason why. So that's a question you can ask. Um, so the answer is reducing, but why? 
So reducing, but why? Why is it a reducing agent? And uh, metals, metals dissolve in water to form what type of solutions? Metals dissolve to form, if they could dissolve, that is, solutions. This is a big if, if they happen to be one that can dissolve. Right, they lose elections and they burn, so. Reduction is gain, because reduction is gain, right? Reduction is gain of elections, and metals give elections, so they are reducing agents. So they lose elections, they give, or you can use the word lose, elections in chemical reactions in chemical reactions and metals dissolve to form yeah metals dissolve to form nobody in city answer to this already yet so yeah they get oxidized when you are reducing agent, you are to get oxidized, right? And I did some videos on this already, I think. So when you are reducing, you are getting a, a reducing agent, you are getting oxidized. Like if you are giving money to somebody, you are losing money. So reducing agents, they give electrons. And by giving electrons, oxidation is loss of electrons. So you are losing electrons, so you are becoming oxidized. Metals dissolve to form, and the answer is alkaline solution, right? That's if they can dissolve in the first place, in the first instance. Um, all right, so the compounds that we need to know about uh, from the syllabus is metal oxides, metal hydroxides, and metal carbonates, and nitrates. Oxides, hydroxides, carbonates, nitrates. Oxides, hydroxides, carbonates. All right. So you're going into the compounds. What number is this? Eight. Compounds. So compounds. Um, we need to know what these compounds. You need to know the type of reactions. Reactions of metal compounds. Metal oxides plus acid. Tell me the answer to that. Metal hydroxide plus acid. Metal carbonate plus acid. So the reactions with acid. All of these are neutralization reactions. Because we're going to get a salt. So please go by the reducing part. All right, that's not. But um, the acid, right? The metal oxide reacting with the acid as a neutralization reaction. Hydroxide carbonate oxide. So, yeah, just seeing, I'm just seeing reaction with acid. So, I'll put it this way. Let's put it this way. So the compounds, you need to know the reaction with the acid. So we want to get the metal oxide plus acid. We want to get the metal hydroxide plus acid. Same thing, same thing. And we want to get the metal carbonate. Oh gosh, this is the first thing they teach you, man. This is one of the things they teach you in chemistry at the start. Now. So metal carbonate. Why is it in the chat if you're, if you're familiar with this? Plus acid. <clears throat> so the only difference, so they, these two are, we'll get this salt and water, right? This one will give you the salt, water, carbon dioxide. So plus carbon dioxide, right? And that's it. So that's all we need to know there. 
how they re how they would react. So I guess you, you may see the reaction popping up, this reacts and form that and that. We need to know what happens there. Um, so what we can take from this point, the reaction is exothermic. The reaction is exothermic. All of them, neutralization reaction. So it'll get warmer. Um, it's a neutralization reaction. Neutralization reaction. What else we can take from this? In the question, in the past paper was copper and sulfuric acid or copper and eight cell, one of them. And I think a blue solution. So you need to know the little color, color changes. Color changes. So you can check this over with your qualitative analysis. Yeah, they might have some colors and thing in the question. Too. So just have a little practical knowledge of that, just in case. Just in case. All right. So um, the copper oxide plus sulfuric acid. Yo, know, the black powdery copper went to the blue solution for the copper sulfate. If you add heat to the reaction, it will speed it up. Mm, really, anything else I can say about this? If if it if the metal falls below hydrogen in the series, yeah, you can bring on the litmus to check the um that it's not that it neutralized now. You can you can it's exothermic. It's exothermic. What else, man? I think that is it. Anybody have any questions with this? When you have the carbon, when you have the um, carbon dioxide, you'll see effervescence. So you'll see the bubbling, right? That could be part of the question. So look out for that. All right. We'll call that George there. Now we need to know it in terms of the decomposition. So this was the compounds and reaction with acid. Now we need to know number nine, the compounds and the um how they decompose decomposition. Ah, yes, that's why I put negative. So very good. Blade coming by. Um, so the decomposition of metal compounds. Uh, potassium and sodium. Oh, we have to read in terms of nitrates, carbonates, hydroxides. Nitrates, carbonates, and hydroxides. And we're going to hit the whole thing here. So we put potassium sodium in one. Um, we want the nitrates. Nitrates NO2, NO2, NO3, NO3. Nitrates, carbonates, CO3, hydroxides, OH. How these decompose, all right, we're down to 35, one hour and 34 minutes into the line, we're down to 35. We'll see how this goes around exam time. So after we finish the decomposition here, we should call that George. So we'll call this George after the decomposition. What is the time? 10, 15? Yeah, man. And that would mean we kind of done metals, except we would need to look at the reactivity um, and met extraction, the extractions. So that's a whole next thing. We'll do that next time. We'll probably do that tomorrow morning, all kind of thing. Check through alloys. And that would mean we done metals. There's a whole big section. So cool. And I think we covered everything. 
So we just check in 3D decomposition now and we'll call that George, right? So the fourth year of you all here, but holy fate, potassium, potassium, sodium, nitrates. Well, nitrates can decompose, everybody can decompose in nitrates, right? Yes. But hydroxides and carbonates, potassium and sodium will never, ever leave them in the presence of heat. So this is in presence of heat, right? So if you have sodium carbonate and you heat it up, that will remain sodium carbonate unless you go to some kind of extreme temperature. Well then, I um a tea. I, I all the time I say a tea for this person name is a tea. A tea, a tea. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me the correct pronunciation. So carbonates and hydroxides, nah, not happening. Nah, nah. This one, as she said, will decompose the form the metal nitrate slightly, metal nitrate and oxygen. Metal nitrite, I should say. Metal nitrite and oxygen, yes. Yeah, who making that noise? Metal nitrite and oxygen. Metal nitride and oxygen decompose to form metal nitride and oxygen. But the others decompose a little better. Um to form metal oxide nitrogen dioxide. Metal oxide nitrogen dioxide. Metal oxide nitrogen dioxide. So as you said of go down the propensity to to get back to its natural metal state is stronger. So yeah, a little bit of heating and it will turn back here, get back here, copper here, get back here, this will get back here, that. <laughs> the job be making noise. Nah, that is not the job. Yeah, it drops sense. All right, I find I'm taking too long on this metal oxide and carbon dioxide. Metal oxide and carbon dioxide. So the rest. Now we want to stop from. We want to stop from silver. Is that so? Let me just verify that. Silver, yeah. So except silver. Silver again, he own category, right? Silver is just like nah. Or silver nitrate, have a little thing. Because remember, we use that silver nitrate, right? But sil but other than that, all the rest is not. So silver have your own class. But the rest of them, uh, metal oxide. Whew, tired. Metal oxide. I think I did not hit everything already. You know? Metal oxide plus, it is nitrogen dioxide. Plus oxygen. Uh, metal oxide plus carbon dioxide. So you see your little pattern here. Take away what you could. Metal oxide plus carbon dioxide. And hydroxide is metal oxide plus water. Plus steam. H2 gas. Nice. So, um, nah, nah. Because these don't exist. You don't get yeah, silver carbonate. <clears throat> we don't have no, you don't, you don't need to know about no silver carbonate and silver hydroxide, right? Silver will want to get back to silver in the present and in room temperature. So, the silver. Um, nit uh, the silver nitrate is a thing decomposes the form metal, silver. It decomposes the form the silver, the nitrogen dioxide, and, and oxygen. All right, so instead of the metal oxide, it will just drop down straight to the metal plus the nitrogen dioxide plus the oxygen. All right, so now that we have this, all I need to know now is to memorize the equations, to practice a few equations in them. So you have to practice a few 
Practice your sodium equation for the nitrate. Practice the equation for your zinc, iron, lead, copper, um, calcium, magnesium, aluminium. You have to practice the equations here for these and practice the silver equation. Now, what you have to remember is nitrate NO3. Nitrate is 1. Nitrate is 1. And that is it. Nitrate is 1. The nitrite is also 1. Minus, I mean. Yeah, you understand what I mean, right? So, like, let me just check some equations. Equations. So, it's NO3. This is, this is just 1. 1 negative. I was right this in I was right this in chemistry again. Coming from so much maths, I forget which direction this could be to me. Yeah, this just put negative. One negative, right? Yeah, negative. And a tree is negative. Um what did dash for? That just means one um the and the this is an anion, anion, right? You charge them, charge on the anion. Yeah. So, this is monovalent. <coughs> um, I do more work here than a triple three at any school. Wait, it's hundred percent. All right. Um, nitrate. Uh, the nitrite. We just need to know this one too. For, um. The sodium and potassium is also one minus. I right, like the equation and the release with with what by sodium. So sodium nitrate. So this is one and this is one. So that balance there by itself. And in the presence of heat, right? You're going to decompose the form sodium nitrite. So this is one and this is one, so that balance there. I talk by I'm talking for itself. I'm talking for the dash in H. Yeah, doesn't exist. Like doesn't exist. So they you don't need to worry about those silver carbonate is too unstable to really exists at room temperature. <clears throat> so sodium nitrite, which was plus oxygen, right? Plus oxygen. We just verify that. Metal nitrite and oxygen. This one is the metal oxide plus the nitrogen dioxide plus the oxygen, right? So that's the difference there. And the carbonates, the CO2 is looking too beautiful. Number plus CO2. Hydroxides, Steam, right? Great. Now to balance this. Now you have to watch how you're balancing this because this is like by itself, right? This is like a block by itself. So if we had to do any multiplications, you know what we're doing, right? Um, so we ending up with one, two, three, four. Ah. Uh, Odd or uh, even number, but we have an odd number here, so definitely going to put a 2 here. Now we ended up with 6. Because 2 by, so the oxygen is what we're using to get the initial thing, right? So I can put a 2 here to get back to 6, but let me, because this will make 2, 4, 6, 6. But before I do that, let me just check the sodium. You see, I need 2 sodiums now. I need 2 nitrogens now. So it's better for me to put the two right here. So two sodium, two sodium, two of this, six of this, four. Right. So everything is balanced with that one, two move. All right. So that is it. So you want to practice the equations. Don't take it for granted that you just balance the equations when the exam reach. Um, practice these equations. Practice doing these equations. So you have a sodium um, nitrate decomposing with heat. <coughs> yeah, let's, let's do one more. And we'll call that George for today.
Um, I feel like I could do some questions to it. Okay, call that just today. Next time, maybe tomorrow. I want to give all your specific time to make like a panel and study me better, but um, I know 100 percent sure. So tentatively, tentatively, eight o'clock tomorrow, we'll come back again. Now I have a pure maths class from seven to nine. What I'll do is probably pull up the pure maths class. I have an online pure maths class that I run it. So if you have a, somebody in Law 6, what do you do? Yeah, so we'll do the questions tomorrow. So we run through the theory right now. You now proper revision means that you, you have to go and just start to do exam questions on this. <laughs> you have to go and do exam questions on this, right? You can't just learn of this chemistry like this without doing exam questions. Because it wouldn't, it wouldn't be under the proper stress test. So you need to test it out. Um, let's just do the last equation. Whew, magnesium nitrate. Now, you still need to check all equations with carbonate and hydroxide, but I'm hoping that you have the discipline to go and do that yourself, all right? So magnesium nitrate. You want to go through this now and double check it now. Now, because this is, this is two. I need two of him, two of this one um, monovalent um, and I am here to balance off this little formula here. And this is going to form the oxide, which is good just so, plus all your leave out states here, but I leave out states. So this is solid, solid, and the first one, gas, somebody probably tell me to play team, but I, I forget, right? <laughs> um, magnesium oxide plus nitrogen dioxide plus what's the last thing? Oxygen, oxygen, gas, gas, solid. So there's a piece of balancing trick here. So last time we was watching the um the oxygen. Let me see what we can do now here. Now. Um, we've seen six oxygen one two three four five so to start off I had to change this that even number so like this could only be two four you understand if <coughs> excuse if I'm going up the road like that so because this have to be even because this on the side is even so two there so now if I have two magnesium here uh, I follow any I follow any wreckage. I balance the oxygen. I want to get rid of that I balance the oxygen now. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six there. So you get a little taste of balancing here if you do not to do it. Two magnesium now, so let's just fix that there. Now once I put this two magnesium here, it's gonna real do all kind of gymnastics here. So two You understand? This mess up this whole thing and send this to 12 now. But okay, let's not watch that yet. This went 2 by that and the next 2. So that's 4 ends. So let's find where the ends are. N, right there. So let's train a 4 there. And I think we solved the problem one time. Because if you put in a 4 here, this is 4 ends. Now, if you do this now, if you practice the equations now, in anything you do in chemistry, you practice the equations once or twice every time you revise it, you will have the numbers down cork. So, like, you go through all the rough parts now, and it looks like we balance it already, and we go through all the rough balancing now and thing. So, in the exam, now you don't need to go back figuring out all these numbers and thing. Or at least if you figure it out in the exam, you're walking down a road that you walk down a few times already. Um, so it looks like he's good there because now there's 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And the magnesium good and the nitrogen good. So that's it there. So we have that done. You want to try out your magnesium carbonates, decomposition equation, those um, your copper hydroxide decomposition equation. Try out those. So that's it for tonight. 101, 50 minutes. It was nice even dealing with um, the LS squad.
Vasudev. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know if you are part of the LS squad too, but you appear to have some kind of um, purpose. So, um, tomorrow, very likely around 8 o'clock, we'll be back at it again. We'll be finishing off metals. So this should really be metals one because all we did here was the reactions um, and characteristics. So we basically did the uh, physical properties, chemical properties. Next up, we'll do the reactivity extraction uses. Spend some time doing that tomorrow. That will involve alloys, which is a whole big fat question. <laughs> this is a whole big factor. And then after that, we're going on to impact of metals on living things. Yeah, then we're going to gases, non metals, thing, thing, thing. So uh, going to, we'll be finished with the whole of inorganic well before exam reach. This is like free classes. Tell everybody, snap a screenshot now, post it, I'll um, retweet. Let's call it Mary Peter. You share on Instagram. So make sure and follow me on Instagram if you have not yet. That's where I post when I'm going online. And you'll see the information to sign up for the Mad Scratch course there. So all the best. The Pack Chelsea, Aaron, Kegons, um, Obadiah, Elijah, Vasudev, Mani King. Rajesh, Nicholas, everybody, uh, at you. Be outside. So, Alia, get ready for 8 o'clock.